Hey guys, Malaya here at IT Supplies. And today, whether you're already an owner of HP Stitch or you're considering purchasing one, here are some tips and tricks you should know to get the most out of your machine. Here's what we're gonna go through. First, setting your prints up on a take-up rail. Two, downloading media profiles. Three, easily switching between print to transfer and direct to fabric printing. And lastly, onboarding color calibration for color consistency. Let's go. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're actually going to get our take-up rail into position so that way we can start rolling our paper onto the empty core that you see here. I've already started my image printing, but I did put it on pause, so that's the reason why my door is open here. But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. So I moved my transfer paper out of my way so that I can then take and bend here and lift this up until you hear it click, as you heard. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take my transfer paper and I am going to take some blue tape here and I'm gonna attach it right here to my empty core. Now that this is secure and pulled tightly, I'm actually gonna press this blue button here until I hear it click for it to start. And that was my sound. Now I'm gonna close the window and we're gonna resume printing while the take-up reel takes up the transfer paper. As you can see here, the take-up reel is now doing what it's supposed to and wrapping my image as it's being printed. The first thing we're gonna do is our downloadable media profiles. All profiles are downloadable on the S500 online search on the machine, but you can also emulate on the S300 using PrintOS. Now we're going to go onto our display panel and start to download our media. First, we're gonna click Substrate Library. We're gonna click our online search button and we're gonna do our drop down to choose our substrate. Whether that's direct to fabric or direct to transfer, you can choose between the two. I'm gonna start with direct to fabric and then all of my downloadable media is listed here. I'm going to click on backlit and then I'm gonna tell it to search. It's going to bring up the textile profiles that are available for my S500. I then will click the download button. I will hit accept. And then you wait for it to download to the printer. That way when you go to print, you're able to select it on your printer and inside of your RIP software. This is how you download media profiles on the S500 printer. So next, this is where I get to show you how to easily change out your standard platen with your ink collector to switch between direct to transfer and direct to fabric printing. Let's go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the printer here and I'm gonna put my ink collector to the side and we're gonna move our media edge guides out of the way by sliding it. It's a little metal piece that you guys can see here. And then we have a blue piece here that we're gonna pop up and out. So I'm gonna get in the way for a second to pop this. And it's gonna help me pull up and we'll go out on this side here to be able to lift out. So this is our standard platen that we use for transfer. And now we're gonna pop into place the ink collector when we're doing direct to fabric printing. So you want to slide in, make sure that it hooks, and then make sure that that pops down for us. And as you can see this blue tool there, we're gonna turn and push down in order to get it into place. So we're gonna press all the way down and we're gonna turn and lock her in there. And now we have this locked into place. That's how you easily switch between a standard platen and your ink collector to go from direct to transfer over to direct to fabric. Lastly, we're going to cover 
color calibration for consistent color accuracy over time. You can make custom color profiles for your specific materials using the onboard media profiling tools and the HP color tools within the HP ErgoSoft RIP software. You can also use HP color tools for easy Pantone matching, external spectral photometer needed for full profile building and Pantone match. If you do not have an external spectral photometer, you can still keep your media calibrated by cloning one of the generic profiles that matches closely to your specific transfer paper or fabric. Let's start clicking, guys. So we're gonna go into our substrate library. And here, I'm going to actually do the transfer paper. So as you can see, I have my generic household fabric. It is not the right one. So we're gonna click on to generic 70 to 110 GSM paper because currently the paper that I have loaded on our machine is 95 GSM. So we're gonna click clone. We're gonna give it a name. And I'm just gonna give it my nickname. We're gonna call it Leia's Media. Now that we have our generic clone, we're gonna actually check our print head health inside of Quick Solutions by clicking Quick Solutions here. And then we're gonna click Test Plots. This is where you're gonna go to check that your print head health is in outstanding order, whereas all of your nozzles are firing properly. And now we can calibrate them once you click the print head test plot here and let it, the printer go through this process. The way that you can calibrate is by going into your maintenance routines here and clicking color calibrations. You can also go and do color calibrations by clicking your home button and going into roll media. And once we go into roll media, as you can see, it has pulled up Leia as our generic transfer and you can click calibrate and it will then calibrate that media for your specific needs. These have been our four tips and tricks on our HP Stitch 500 series. For more information and deep dives on more settings here on our S500, be sure to check back on our YouTube channel. I hope that this video has been informative and helpful, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, like always. See you guys next time.